Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Um, it is Sunday. We just finished church and then we went to eat at a Silver Skillet Diner. It was delicious. Um, we had never been there before, but it was really good. Now we are getting ready to go to a Halloween market. They are having at the Admiral Twin Drive-In, so we're gonna go check it out. What's up, buddy? We're looking at t-shirts right now. <laughs> awesome. Oh, that's fun. That's so funny. Okay, babe, so do you want to show them what you got at the Halloween market? So I got some Nightbreed comic books. I got four of them. Uh, Nightbreed's a comic book based on a Clive, or a, a movie based on a uh, short story that Clive Barker wrote um, called Cabal. But it's basically uh, a story about how the monsters are the humans and the people who look like monsters and actually have monstrous powers and stuff they're the good guys and so it's a really cool twist on a, a monster story and then I got some fun stuff I got this cute oops I dropped it oh, Morgan's got me I got this cute little sticker for Halloween, a little doggy ghost. And then I got some really cute earrings. And then I got this sage uh, smudge stick. Selenite. It's uh, sage and um, Palo Santo and uh, a selenite wand oh selenite just fell out but yeah it's for um cleansing purification and energy protection so um morgan and i tend to have things find us yep. um things tend to follow us from place to place so occasionally we hit it with the sage and do a smudging because we need it. So we haven't done it in a while and these were really beautiful. Um, the way they put were put together with the little feather and the wildflowers. I just thought they were pretty and they were reasonably priced. So and we it was picked time. one up and it was time. It was time. So, okay guys, so it is time for scavenger hunt for forest school again. And so I thought maybe you guys could help me put together the sheets for the scavenger hunt. So every month I put together a different themed um, scavenger hunt, usually using Canva, for um, the forest school group that I lead on Wednesdays. 
and um, this month since it is uh, spooky times I put together this spooky Halloween scavenger hunt it's got a spider a spider web murky water a wand which is basically just a stick that you could use for a wand a storm cloud a frog and a blackbird um, we keep it pretty simple just because most of the kids that we uh, that come um, are like Arlo's age to maybe five or six you know they're younger so um, they don't need like a big long extravagant list but it just I feel like on the weeks where we do a hike and have scavenger hunt it sort of keeps the kids more focused on what's around them and the nature around them a lot of times when we just do our play and explore walks they're more interested in the play part the running and the jumping and the uh <coughs> climbing and all that and they don't really pay attention to what's around them as much but on scavenger hunt day they stop and they look and it keeps them uh more in the present as far as um you know noticing the nature around them so what i'm gonna do is i've printed off three of these and they are there's two per page <coughs> and i'm just gonna cut those out and then i'm gonna laminate them and then we've only been doing that this is the first year we've been doing it but we laminate them so we can save them and then if the future you know we want to do the same scavenger hunt again we have them ready and we don't have to waste a bunch more paper. So let's get started. Okay, so that's it. I think they turned out pretty cute, you guys. Um, but let me know what you think. Would you guys be interested in um, following along with us and uh, doing the scavenger hunts with us each week? Drop a comment down below and let me know. If there's enough interest, I'll get a group together and I can send them out every <laughs> month to you guys so you can print them off and do it with your little ones at home. But that's it for now. If you guys like these videos and you want to see more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me. And we'll see you later.